Our 17-year-old daughter and her friend were abducted from a, a local video store. We had no idea what was going on until 3.45 the next morning when the police showed up at our door. When we pulled up to the emergency entrance, there were multiple uh, law enforcement agencies represented. As they began to talk, my husband stopped them and he said, I already know my daughter's dead. And at that point in time, I fell against my husband just sobbing. And we were only at the hospital about an hour. It seems like a lifetime in so many ways. And within just a few hours, there were probably close to 100 people at our home. As they, they came, we would tell them and, and we would all cry together. So many tears, no matter what way we turned, we would cry. There was just so many things going on, so full of, of grief, of sorrow. God spoke to me most in the shower because that's where I, I kind of let everything go. I was, I was by myself and the, the tears mingled with the water. You know, I don't mean it to sound dramatic, but it's true. And I can remember I was washing my hair and I was just sobbing. I'm like, God, where were you? Where were you? You could have stopped this. God, you just don't understand. You don't know how it feels to lose a child. And God stopped me short and he said, uh, yeah, I do. And I can remember standing there just sobbing when the reality hit me that if it wasn't for him losing his son, I would have no hope. I would have nothing to lean on. I had a very difficult time reading I couldn't concentrate, I struggled with that, but I could sing, I could listen to worship music, and that, the words that were spoken in those songs bolstered me and gave me the strength to take the next step that I needed to take. And at that point in time, it put such hope and peace into my heart. We prayed for God to use this story however he could, in any way that he could, that would bring glory to his name. He honored every prayer, not necessarily in the way that, that we would have wanted it to be answered, but we knew that God had a far greater purpose. We began sharing our story in, in churches. Here, out in Amish country, we had a, a, an Amish bishop call our home and invite us to his home because he wanted to talk to us. It was such a, a tragic thing in our area, but because we allowed God to use it because we gave God the glory and uh, we offered forgiveness to the man that murdered her. It spoke volumes to people here. There were so many times when I just wanted to give up. Even though we didn't get our daughter back, we didn't get so many things. We would rather have had Liz, rather our family not have to go through this. But God knew that through this, there were going to be so many lives changed. <laughs>